Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I've been away for a while. As you can see from the title, I am starting from scratch on my envelopes and on my financial journey. And that is, um, that is because as most of you know, if you've watched my videos, you know that my mom was battling cancer she had been battling cancer for a year and sadly she passed away about two months ago i don't know how much into details i i want to get not because um i don't want to share i honestly believe that speaking about it w would be very therapeutic for me and it might help somebody else going through this. I just, if I go into that space mind, with my mind, like um, I just get really upset. It's very triggering. It's still pretty raw in my heart and in my brain, my heart. It's just like, I can't explain it. My mom, besides my, my son, my mom was like, the most important person in my life when you when I hear the the word soulmate you know most people think their significant other right romantically but for me my mom was my soulmate she was like everything to me she was like just my life guide um I've never been away from her like I've been with her my whole life and even when we got married I first got married we lived together through um, the first two years of, of marriage and then my pregnancy my son was practically born here in her house and even when I moved out I literally moved out three um I moved in three doors down and because I just couldn't be away from her. So yeah, so this has been a very, very hard and traumatic um, like very traumatic um, moment of time of my life, especially because I bit, I saw her through pretty much the worst if you are caring for somebody that you love with cancer or any type of illness my heart goes out to you and know that you're not alone and you'll get through it because it is honestly one of the worst things in life to watch a loved one die slowly and in certain cases painfully right um, so, anyways, um, the point, the reason why I'm starting over is because, um, I had never buried anybody. This was, the, this is the first, my first experience with losing somebody. So I did not, I was not prepared for, um, funeral costs. And I don't know if it's the same in every state. I live in California. I did not know how, excuse my language, effing, well, I gotta watch it myself because my son is like around. I did not know how effing expensive a funeral and a cemetery um, cost. I had to use pretty much all my money like all of it because again even though we knew she was sick I for me her dying was never an option like that never crossed my mind so I wasn't prepared I wasn't saving up for her funeral or burial like because for me that was never an option that to, like every time somebody would even try to go to that topic I would say my mom is gonna be okay she is gonna get through this we're gonna be fine there's no need for me to prepare anything and she did hang on as much as she could she did 
Um, and I know she did it for me. You know. But unfortunately, she got tired and she had to go. And, you know, that's God's, God's will. And I, the only thing that makes me feel better is that I know she is in no, no longer in pain and that she is resting peacefully. Honestly, that's the only thing that gets me up every morning. It's just knowing that she's okay and she is no longer in pain. But anyways, I, again, had no idea how much a funeral cost. With the cemetery plus services, I pretty much paid what I paid for my first car that's how much it was um maybe one if you guys are interested i don't know if this is a, this, it would be a weird type of video if anybody's interested in how much everything costs um i i can go through that or even if you want to email me ask me for my email and i'll email you just just in case you guys are curious but it was pretty much uh with that that's how much i spent as the same amount that I paid for my Honda Civic. <laughs> um, and that was my first car. But, so yeah, so I wiped out pretty much most of my savings. Um, this is what's left of my envelopes. And even though I didn't have a lot, um, it helps. So if you think that just saving up a little bit here and there, a dollar here and there, a five dollars here and there, it helps it adds up okay and it, it, it will come handy when you have an emergency like I did and yeah so that is why I am starting over with my envelopes oh I, I remember what I was gonna say I wasn't um, working as much I was uh, taking care of my mom her the her final months leading up to um, the day she passed she got very very sick like pretty much her health declined really badly like around maybe june or like the end of may yeah probably may the end of may so i wasn't working as much and i had used up most of my hours so once i used up my hours my personal time and my sick time i had no hours and so i wasn't getting paid so um, you know, I was also going through savings to pay bills to help my, my, my husband. Cause unfortunately when, you know, life doesn't care what you're going through, you know, bills add up rent, you know, I was also taking care of some of my mom's bills on the side. So yeah, here we are. I need to start over and that's okay. Not just in financially, but in life. I need to l um, learn how to live without my mom. Which is going to be very, very difficult. Because I had the best mom in the world. And I'm going to just leave it at that. Just because I'm getting upset and sad. And my son hates to see me cry. He's been, he's been watching me cry for a long time. And I think now he gets upset when he sees me upset. So... I'm gonna keep it together and I'm just gonna get started um, I need to rearrange my envelopes um, because I don't even remember what I was saving for I don't know where to begin I have extra envelopes here I need to redo my challenges so I think let's start with arranging and going over my challenges this is going to be a very long video. Grab a snack. Or fast forward. So, I already wiped down, like, because um, I had I have to start over all these challenges. Um, I'm going to, so these, I'm starting over these. These are all envelopes I still need to organize. Let me see what I got here. Challenges. I think I'm gonna start slow. Oh, how cute are these placeholders? I think I did mention them in my last video. They're from um, 
Bella Scarlet Creates on Etsy. Um, and uh, I'll put the, the name, I'll write down the name in the description box below. And uh, these are trackers. Let me see my... Okay, so let me... So let me organize my savings challenges. So this is my savings challenge binder. So right here, uh, this was my $10 savings challenge. Wait, no, I want to do it in order. Cause I have a dollar one, a dollar change. Um, but I don't think I have an envelope for it. So let's look for an envelope. Sorry for the, you know, depressing video, but that's just life. This is what I'm going through. And if you're going through, through it, I'm here for you. Okay, I could have sworn I had a, um, set aside a green envelope to do my $1 savings challenge. I can't find it, but I have this extra envelope that I was using for something else back then. And I am going to use it for my $1 savings challenge. Okay. And then um, I think the $5 one's next. Followed by my $10 one. And my $20 one. I haven't um, started that one. I have I have started this one. So I guess let's just go ahead and replenish these envelopes. So for my dollar, my dollar savings challenge, I'm gonna go ahead and um, do five. So one, two, three, four, five. Oh, not even on frame. You see. There you go. So we're gonna do five dollars. One, two, three, four, five. I don't even know if I'm gonna upload this video to be honest. It's just hard to do these type of videos. Like, it's insane. You know, I never thought out in my life I ever was gonna have to say that my mom passed away. It's one of those things I've I always thought that mom was gonna be there for me forever <laughs> like i always thought that i was gonna die before her i don't know okay so um for my five dollar challenge i'm gonna do three so my goal today is just to reorganize my my envelopes and Put um, five dollars in each one just to get started. Just something to get get me started, because I feel like things are always harder to start. Okay, next I'm gonna do my ten dollar challenge, and I'm gonna just do um, a one for this one. Actually, I'm gonna do two. I'm gonna do two. I didn't even count this money by the way this was just leftover money that i had and i just didn't even count it so we'll see if it works out i'll be more organized on my next video i promise so for this one i'm just gonna do 120 for my 20 dollar challenge This one I hadn't started, but this one I had, and I had already done 22 plus 5, so I had done 27. So 25, 26, 27. So I'm just going to pick up where I had left off. Ooh, I don't have that envelope here. I thought I did. Oh, wait, is it this one? No. Oh, I think I saw it upstairs. Let me see if I have a random envelope. Let's see. Okay, 
Okay, you know what I meant for now? I'm just gonna- oh, this one is blank. Perfect. So I'm gonna use it for these two because I had also started this one and I had done 18 on this one. So I'm gonna do 10, 15, 18. they can share an envelope these two challenges next up it was my mini savings challenge hello kitty one and where are those track on there right here so I am gonna start with um, ten dollars on this one was the twin the hello kitty 26 week savings challenge and for this one let's do let's see let's do let's do three three hello kitties so the first one is two dollars is my light flickering or is it just me next up is four one two three four Actually, let's just leave it to Hello Kitties. Let's not overdo it. Again, I'm just trying to get started, just not just as a distraction, but I really need to get, you know, my savings up. I need to build my savings pretty much again. Um, this was my Christmas savings challenge, which Christmas is coming up and I am dreading it. I, uh, this is gonna be, this is, next holidays these next couple months are gonna be rough my mom's birthday was a few days ago and it was terrible so i can only imagine how thanksgiving and my son's birthday and christmas is gonna be because you know she's not here so i have done three um circles so that was that would add up to let me see plus 25 plus 60 I had 135 in this envelope and I believe I have extra cash in here in my emergency stash Do I have enough I do I do I, do I have enough I do have enough. Actually, I'm just going to do the 50. I'm going to do the 50. Again, I'm trying to start slow. I'm gonna scratch off the 50 and then next stuffing I'll do I'll do the other two. And that's it for my savings challenge. So I actually forgot that I had ordered some envelopes and um, some challenges. Um, I will write down the shop in the description um, part of the video. This is how this one came out. I mean, came wrapped. This is my first time opening it. It's so cute. Okay. And this is from. Oh, is there something? Oh, there's something else in here. Oh, it's just my invoice. So this is from Creating Stacy. Is that the name of the shop? I, I believe so. Creating Stacy. Um, on Etsy and let me show you what I got this is so cute I, oh, I hate opening um, cute packaging 
What did she send me? Oh, she sent me some stickers. I love stickers. I love um, decorating my planner. So these will go here. And then this is her, let me see, let me show you. Her business card, her thank you card. I, I believe this was a freebie. And this is a 3000 savings challenge. So we'll be saving that for another time. And these are the envelopes I ordered. I ordered a Halloween envelope, a Christmas envelope, and an Easter. Because um, these are my favorite, um, or I believe the holidays that I spent the most money on. So let me go back to my savings challenge, um, Christmas savings challenge, and I'm gonna swap the envelope. Where is my Christmas envelope? Oh, it's so cute. It's perfect. I gotta find little things to cheer me up, you know? And then, so we're gonna leave this here actually because I did. So, here I believe it's my. I ordered some Halloween savings challenges. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to complete them in time. But I do want to um, get started because, um, you know, October is just around the corner and I um, love pumpkin patches and I just want to do a lot of um, activities just to keep my mind occupied and also because I do have a four-year-old who doesn't really understand what happened and, he, you know, we, we're trying to keep his childhood innocent and um happy and trying to replace all the bad memories of these past couple months into happy memories okay so i believe this is a freebie it's a little game saving is my jam this is so cute save one dollar per strawberry and per apple save your choice of three or five per jam um it's so cute harvest your savings Okay, so this is um, a little scratch off. Oh, let's get started with your saving scratch off and save the amount shown. Is this um, a coupon for their shop? I think, I believe it is. So this is from Two Sister Bees. Um, there is a YouTube channel, which I do follow. They're here on YouTube and it's also Two Sister Bees. And I love their shop. They have like the most adorable saving challenges. So I... Your... Oh, this is another freebie. I did not order that one. Okay, so for another time. And these are the ones that I ordered. It, it was a bundle. So this is for... Oh, my son is getting bored. I'm going to try to rush through this. Um, so this is for a harvest moon for the pumpkin patch. This is cute. Cauldron, cauldron cash. Find the find the witch's hat and save any amount. And then the trick or treat. Mm, so cute. And that's why I got my um, my Halloween envelope. Okay, so should we do one? Should we scratch one? I don't have any coins on me so we'll save these for the next um, stuffing okay so I decided to organize my envelopes off camera because if not this video would have been about an hour long and <laughs> I'm trying to keep it um you know not too long so I uh, let's start with our long-term sinking funds. Um, I'm just gonna. Add, I just wanted to keep it more simple. So my son for his um, his, his college fund or his future fund. The, this envelope already um, ripped. I need to put tape on it. I keep forgetting. Um, I care. I do need to get um, some new glasses. 
So let's do $10 on this one. My emergency envelope. Again, uh, my goal is to stuff at least with $5 each envelope. Okay, next up is for our future house. For this one, I'm gonna do 15. Next up for medical bills. Let's do ten dollars. And if you're wondering why there isn't an envelope for my savings, um, it's because I have automatic transfer, so um, I like keeping it that way. And then this is for our, you know, um, everyday low priority short term sinking funds. This is for my son. This is for whatever clothes he needs. Um, clothes and shoes, pretty much, because now it's so freaking expensive. Everything, even just a pair of shorts, it's like $12. Um, this is going to be my personal envelope. And, and this is mainly for self care which I desperately need. I have not taken care of myself lately, to be completely honest. I pretty much the only thing I, I do for myself is my nails and that's because my husband insists. He's like, you need to get out of the house, go get your nails done. And that's pretty much the only thing that I don't mind doing just because like my nail salon is like literally a block away. I don't have to go too far away but I definitely want to go um, on one of those like full day spas um, I I desperately need a spa day next up is uh, my shopping and this is just gonna be for like clothes and shoes makeup whatever I want hubby this used to say hubby savings because I was supposed to save up for him he was supposed to give me his money and then um, I was gonna save it for him, but it's just not working out. He <laughs> he has to be in charge of his own money. So instead, I'm just gonna use it for stuff that I want to get him, or in case he asks me for cash. Our wedding anniversary is coming up next month, so um, I need to get him a gift. So we'll use it for that. Birthdays, uh, my son's birthday, and. My husband's birthday is in November. We're having a little party for my son and for my husband. We still haven't decided, well, he hasn't decided what he wants to do, but this is for that. For gifts, and this is just for any gifts. I do have two birthdays in October, both my nieces, my only nieces. It's both their birthdays, so. I need to get them something. Family fun. This is my most prized and important envelope. Mm, mm, some of you might think, oh, well, why isn't saving up for your future more important? This is because this is what keeps my family together and my family's mental health um, healthy. Um, we still try to take my son out every weekend, no matter what. Because he's, you know, he's a little kid. He's a toddler. He, well, he's no longer a toddler. He's four. But um, we like to keep things normal for him on weekends. And for him to see us, or at least me, see me smiling for once. So I, I, I love going out on weekends with my family. A vacation. Hopefully we get to go on a vacation. It's not a priority right now, but eventually holiday I forgot why I got this envelope I don't remember if it's for holiday activities or holiday decor <laughs> regardless it needs to be funded so we'll do 20 next up is Easter yes papa I'm almost done but um, on my last envelope. 
Okay, we need, we need to start saving up for Easter as well. And then lastly, Disneyland. I do want to go to Disneyland in December during Christmas time because it is the most magical time to go. And I just need a distraction. <laughs> Plain and simple. Me and my family. And okay, so that does it for the stuffing. I am actually going to see how much I have left. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. I'm actually going to leave this for laundry day. We have to do laundry this weekend. And it just happens that I have the laundry envelope here. So that's perfect because I usually spend about $20, $25 on laundry. So now that's taken care of. And that does it for today's video. Uh, thank you for watching and thank you for listening. I know this is a long video. I hope you guys don't mind me sharing and uh, you guys don't mind this. You know, this is more of a sad video, but hopefully it helps at least one person. Um, and that's it. I'll see you next time. Thank you. Bye.